really quick. These are people that you should get to know. Hey, say to Instagram. Uh, JPAL underscore 530. And you already know this dude. I think you know who I am. <laughs> At the moment, I am actually cosplaying a different character. Shuri suggested to me this is a good costume, but I am not sure this will work for me. Yeah, you stop stealing my axe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, your turn. Stop stealing my axe. <laughs> I don't know what I just saw, but I'm happy to resemble some of that. So <laughs> wa all right, my friends, Comic-Con is coming to a close, and I, uh, I'm gonna go the other way. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Getting ready for The Walking Dead. I'm actually currently in Canada, believe it or not. Oh, Canada. And um, I'm in Toronto right now. I'm about to meet up with Farewell 34 Farewell 34 you know who he is. We're gonna watch The Walking Dead together, and uh, it's the first time for us to meet. I'm a little nervous. Ugh, let's let's see what it's on. Let's 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 do it. Let's go. Check. Hope he's uh, the right size. I believe that's him. And I thought I saw him. And I lost him. And maybe not. There he is. What's up, dude? What's up, What's up, dude? I was like, do I vlog first or not? You got it. You got to do it. What's going on, everyone? What a dooski. That, that's what. That's his intro. That's what we do. Farewell 34, right? That's got, what it is, fam. All right. We were wondering if you're going to be taller or shorter no, than me. No, I'm, or I'm a like very that. short man. I stand at five, six, and three quarters. Oh, I was like, I know you're tall. I'm like, oh, no, no. You're, you're about the size of Tyrone, so uh, shout outs. Tyrone Magnus is my height, too? Just about. Say dude. a word. Tyrone, what's up, man? There you go. There you go. He's got a little more weight on you, but yeah. <laughs> All right, you hungry? Yeah, let's go get some food, man. We're about to get some Tim Hortons, because you know that's what you do in Canada, apparently. Yeah, it's, it's Tim Hortons. Okay. <laughs> Canadian. Really? Oh, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, I can imagine. Look at all that. Is this was Japan, that would have been $40. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Maybe. Oh, it's him, Farewell. There you go. Hey. And the maid. <laughs> She's helping out. We got a pictorial we're doing right now. More videos very soon. That's cool though. I really like that. That's really cool. But I get it. Delicacy. Poutine delicacy. Let's get it. Let's get it, son. All right, here we go. Cheese curds, fries. So what is this? What is this? Cheese curds. What is a cheese curd? It's just like cheese balls. Okay. Oh, it melts with the gravy. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Is it hot? No. He's thinking. It's like an interesting mix of like Thanksgiving, literally. <laughs> the timing couldn't be better because it's Thanksgiving in Canada. Thanksgiving yeah. In Canada. It's like this weird taste of like I, I'm expecting turkey at the same time. Interesting. Hello, Ohio. Private jet. You know what's up. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. Look at all these people. Number one recommendation is called uh, Steak and Shake. Yeah. Okay, he said it's the In and Out. It does smell like In and Out. Oh yeah. Oh my God, it looks like In and Out. Whoa, but more white people. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's a oh, there's a black dude. It's it's trustworthy. Okay, let's try this out. Right here, just, <laughs> just bro, blind wave headquarters, just literally like right here. That'd be dope. Well, funny you should mention that. Ah, uh, exclusive, exclusive. Yeah. It was a selfie. This is, it's 
Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, do we got everybody? Da, 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 da. Uh, look at that positioning. There we go. Plus ultra. Okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> and your water yeah, and it's a tricky thing because like even like some ingredients just have added sugar. So I'm like, uh, it's hard to do. Like I was like, well, there's a front sheet platter, waffle fries, the cheese or the bacon. Either one can have that. But um, so I think it's yeah. So it's, like, it's easier for me to just say like I'm good for now. Thank you. I've heard her lie. It's like. And so I was just like I'm good, and then she's like, oh no, no, hang on, hang on. I'm like I'm just wait. Chilling overnight in the wave cave top floor. All behind the scenes. Looks like me and Gal and Harley over there, we sleeping together. What up, y'all? It's Akasun here in the wave cave. And uh, we're uh, getting ready and setting up to watch My Hero Academia. This is going to be episode season three. Episode 11, all one for all. You know what's about to go down. Ha! Are you ready? Are you here? Yes. I am here. Awesome. You get it? We technically know we're not allowed to do that anymore, but were you getting on your drinks outside no, anyway? No, we're gonna cry, for sure. Mm. Don't worry about it. You're um, killing me. I'm stuck between a rodeo and a buck I mean. They're both really good. Have you had No. Decisions, decisions. You're watching the Weekly Wednesday What's Up, the section of my channel where I tell you everything that's going on in my life in one week. And here I am in the Wave Cave. Actually, this is the guest room for the Wave Cave. If you didn't know, you might be seeing it. You might have seen it on uh, Blind Waves. Uh, <clears throat> previous video one of their videos where they were talking about this is the second floor of the wave cave their their wave cave technically is like a wave mountain hill <laughs> maybe a hill a way a tsunami cave i don't know um they have expanded a lot and um it's been really fun for everybody uh, i've just been chilling here for the last day or so and uh, this is my second night here, and uh, it's been real fun, man. Well, you guys have no idea. I mean, I think you can kind of imagine um, just how much work they put in every day. Like, it's interesting because I basically see it the same way, almost the same way. I run my productions back at home with the Tokyo Trinity. It's pretty much the same thing. I think they take more breaks in between. Um, I'm a little bit more on the clock because um, I only see the Tokyo Trinity if once a week, if that, when we're really on it, like maybe once a week when we were really starting it, it was really cool once a week. But um, now it's usually once a month or so, if that. And now we've kind of broken it up. Now me and Kelly will get together, and then me and DC Sun will get together. But we just knock them out, boom, 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 like that, right? Um, but the production is pretty much the same. It's interesting to see how it works. It's just on a larger scale, and um, the bigger, uh, bigger difference is doing it in Ohio and a Marietta and doing it in Tokyo is uh, completely different with all the space just to have everything like this is amazing it's very inspirational that's for sure but um almost impossible to do it uh in a place like LA or like a big city because it would just be so expensive for the space uh it, I did a really good interview with them today it was very in-depth, and I think you guys are going to enjoy it when it's up in a few weeks or so. Um, it gets pretty emotional, and we talk about sacrifices, and we talk about everything that needed to be, you know. I think you can get to really know the real them, but just the way everything is organized, it's uh, definitely respectable. Uh, after everything is recorded, 
somebody rushes over, uploads it, and they send it to their editors, and their editors are ready to go, ready to crank out those videos. I think that's the big difference. Is um, I have KR presents uh, to, and he does his best to get some of these videos out on time for me. Um, but a lot of times he has a lot of technical problems or um, power is out or whatever the case may be. So sometimes there's a lot of delays on my side uh, getting them to you. And then if I have to try to do them myself, uh, particularly when I'm, when I'm on vacation, when I'm traveling, it's uh, impossible. I tried doing it back in the day, but my laptop is so busted and it's like only like two gigs free half the time. Uh, and then for me to try to fighting the jet lag, trying to edit the videos, it's so hard. Even watching videos just right now, even doing this one, I was about to fall asleep <laughs> just because uh, you're just so burnt out. But um, in general, it, it's just about the same way uh, KR is doing his best to just crank out those videos as quick as possible on a schedule. But he's also struggling with his uh, setup so it's interesting though but I, it definitely gives me the inspiration to try to expand my team of editors to try to get more of those videos out on time for you guys i might put somebody back on avatar because i tried to do them myself and get on a schedule and i tried editing some of them on the plane it's just by every time I get on the plane, I just, just I'm just uh, really burnt out from traveling or jet lag or what have you not. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I can do. But I might just put somebody on Avatar just to finish up the series. The biggest issue, the biggest issue is just there's no money that comes in anymore through YouTube with Avatar or Korra or whatever the case may be. So everything I would be putting into it be through, hopefully getting back through Patreon and that's the real concern that I had that's why Avatar has slowed down a lot because uh, YouTube basically was blocking everything so it is what it is but uh, we talked a lot of shop today and we, we did a lot of uh, comparing notes and seeing what can be done and uh, this entire week, I've been in America now for our, I've been in North America now for one week now. It's really interesting to just get the viewpoints talking to all these different YouTubers, not just reactors, not just people doing, well, really, honestly, I think everybody that I've met with this week have never really considered themselves to have just a reaction channel. And then, you know, I remember there was a bunch of bullshit and drama over me even stating something like that a few years ago. Uh, but it's really funny to me, it's, or at least to me, everyone I've met, everyone I've met has never considered themselves to have a reaction channel. They've always considered themselves to have a channel with reactions on them, but their pure focus has always been to do something more than that, to go beyond that, and uh, through reactions, just try to give some people a little bit more. And I think I did mention it in the interview, but I think what a lot of people have, like the original people, the, the most influential people, have always used the term reaction in their videos, you know, to pull views in, but to them, the main point of the video is actually not the reaction but the input and the critique and the um the thought process and the way they make the video and what they put into the video and that's what people um people leave the most with is um the impression you give so when they go see the movie or whatever they're always thinking about that like damn that dude was right. It's, it, it was a very interesting interview and interesting to see that I'm not alone in that type of thinking. Tyrone doesn't consider himself to have a reaction channel. Uh, Failwell 
realizes that most of the videos that he puts his reactions, but he's trying to change that. Blind Wave definitely never started out doing reactions. Um, they were doing other things, but you know they, they do realize they got popular off of reactions. Uh, but the your real input was just more about critiquing things and reviewing things. And then when the reaction genre started getting more popular, they started mixing to two, the two. I remember when Blind Wave first started, and they were doing like 50-minute videos, and they still do, 50-minute, 60-minute videos. And back at the time, like, I, we made a joke about that, where people, um, people out there would start, would always be critiquing me, saying that I talk too much or I talk too long. I would make a discussion or a conversation out of a 30-second video, right? But then <laughs> I would turn around, I would look at Blind Wave, and I'd be like, did they just make an hour video? <laughs> like, the actual reaction part of it was 10 minutes, but their discussion would last for 50 minutes. And I'm like, what the fuck? Why, why am I the only one getting um, critiqued on that? Anyways, all that being said, uh, I've been having a really good time, but uh, just touring around with everybody, learning a lot. And... Um, really hopefully we can turn that around and do a little bit more things you guys want to see the top four the wave cave before as you can see it's getting a little late here i'm waiting for my editor actually to finish up his video but i wanted to just show you guys um this i've been sleeping with chloe every night and i love it she's protecting me <laughs> and I'm waiting for this. This is my little room every here. And you will see the full tour on another, on another video at a later time. This is the kitchen where they do cooking with Blind Wave. Actually, that's next week. No, the downstairs kitchen. You can see. And then here's the thing right there. Right there. We got Calvin. Right there. That's Calvin right now. He's uh, doing some game stream right now. Trying out a new video. Doing the weekly Wednesday, what's up? What's up? You know about that? Which the one? The weekly Wednesday, what's up? My weekly vlog. Oh yeah. Yeah, no matter how tired I am, <laughs> I gotta do one. So I'm dead ass tired, but I'm like doing. Hey, that's a good rule though. No matter how tired. No matter how tired, we do the that's struggle. That's always the excuse, right? It's ah, always. I'm too tired. I'm gonna go to bed. Once you skip one week, then it becomes two weeks. Then it becomes yeah. three. Then it's like, oh, I know it's been a year, but what's up? Here's that weekly yeah. content I used to give you. You enjoying the game? Yeah, so far, just kind of getting the feel of it. Getting the feel. This is he. They even test the new games before they decide to bring it to you. It's eleven. No, it's almost eleven o'clock right now. Yeah, yeah it's a yep. little bit after eleven. He's a single person in blind wave, so that's why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he can afford to be away. That's my excuse. <laughs> that that's his excuse. All right, enjoy the game. Yeah. So <laughs> there, you, there you go. So that's basically what goes on behind the scenes at Blind Wave. Um, the women are actually downstairs doing a reaction as well. The women of the Wavettes, the women of the Wave, I don't know, whatever. Anyways, guys, um, I can feel it in my mind. So, it was, it, uh, I'm gonna turn in. So, you guys like, share, subscribe, and I will, guys, uh, I will be, I'll be in America for one more week in New Jersey. I'll probably be, I'm going to be in the New York, New Jersey area for one more week. And that's it. And then I head back home to Japan and we'll get ready for Halloween. That'll be some crazy shit as well. And we'll talk to you later, right? Uh, a lot of videos are coming up. We got a lot of interviews from New York Comic Con. I prioritized a few things. My apologies. Avatar. Once again, it's getting kicked. Yo, you know what? If anybody, honestly, if there's anybody that wants to pick up Avatar for a little while, 
give a shot with editing. See what they feel about it. Just let me know because it might that might be the easiest thing at this point. So, uh, let me know below, okay? I'm going to get on out of here. <laughs> you can see it so bad, right? <laughs> that's why I bought. That's why I brought protection. Much better, right? Much better. All right. Oh, and you know what? I'm not going to lie. I was also crying as well earlier today. We did My Hero Academia, uh, the reaction to uh, Season 3, Episode 11. I've seen it in Japanese, and <laughs> my, re my, Jap my English reaction is going to be up <laughs> sooner on Blind Wave's channel than my first reaction. <laughs> Uh, maybe. Uh, Patreon is going to get it. No, you know what? Patreon is going to get it before Blind Wave gets theirs. I think. Alright, I'm out of here, guys. Take care of yourselves. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll let you guys know what's up next week. Peace.